so far. I'm gonna work really hard on holding the camera steady. Look at that, guys. Motor pinion buzzed off. Just a little bit on the edge. You can see we could use a little more contact point, but they designed this with steel gears and we only have brass right now. We have a steel, one of these motor pinions coming from, from uh, Hailboxing HVX from their 2995 model. You can get all the parts there for the 2995, but we'll put a new one on and I mean, we did give it, yeah, this did that 4S top speed and it's been going for quite a while. They're pretty tough. I imagine it's gonna last, you know, 2S is gonna last forever. You're not gonna have any problems. But 3S, 4S, yeah. It was on there tight, but it came off really easy. So that's cool. Really easy fix. Used a little drop of Gorilla Glue on the set screw, and then I screwed it in, and we are fixed. That was really easy. It's also a good time to service your differentials if you want, since you got it taken apart. I'm just gonna add a little bit more oil. Hold on, we need more net. There we go. Fill the case up a little bit so it, when it spins, it sprays it around. Say like a third full, huh? And then just a little drop on each bearing, like a little hug. The top section on here, just a few more screws. We got these dog bones and A-arms, real easy. And then just the top of the shock, top of the bumper, and we're ready to go. So I'm not sure when I broke it. I mean, it's still been working. It held up the whole time in the parking lot. We're gonna we're gonna go jump it some more here, but I broke that and the body mount here or the shock tower right here. I also scraped that off. So we need body pose, shock tower, and this little top thing here. We're back here at the parking lot. Here's what we're running. Gold Bat Champion. The Champion series they have a little bit higher C rating. You can also get this for a couple bucks cheaper. Uh, these are really cheap. They're like the best priced batteries you're gonna find, and they're durable as heck. Take a beating. They they have a they charge. Really, they're great. They're the best batteries so far that I've had. Let's get to it. Just love those batteries. Seriously, high discharge, durable, and they're like the best price out of all the batteries. It's gonna sound good now. Let's get it started up. Oh yeah, nice. Ooh. And I should have a more stable camera here. Sorry guys, my I was letting my thing get loose. I tightened her up. <laughs> I got a tight one. I love setting the trim on this too, because it's just so you just press what you know it's digital. I was trying to do a wheelie for you. Oh, a little too much. Oh, there we go. Oh, a little too much again. Oh, way too much. Let's get some speed here. I wonder if I can do that good. Oh, just a little too much. <laughs> sure I could do the auto flip, but I don't want to. Oh, we got a car coming. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little too much again. Oh, dang. I don't know why 
why they're so overpriced either. They should be about a hundred bucks. Brushed. 150 brushless. Head out and now we're gonna screw it back in and we should be fixed for a few more rounds here. See if we can get rid of this battery or uh, drain the battery. Run two batteries in a row. Oh, we need a pin here too. Oh, we need to turn this on. I forgot to flip them over. Keeps it a little tighter. All right, we're good. Oh, not again. I better go find that top one. It's really looking like I'm starting to need some new RCs, guys. Like, I can get that top brace and everything, fix this up real nice. We're going to beat the heck out of it more, but I need some new stuff. Come on. Where's my sponsors at? All right, I popped it back into place real quick. Didn't even have to take anything apart, but let's see how she, see if she holds up. I want to drain this battery. This ESC's been working really good, look. There's like no cog. It's kinda, it's kinda puffy off the launch. I don't like the, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, once you get going though, it works all right. It's good enough. It sounds so good with that new gear. Sounds normal. Oh, she's holding in there. I think I hit limp mode. Oh, not not yet. Yeah, see, kind of funny. I wonder if the, the capacitors in it are messed up. Oh, no doubt they're messed up, huh? Oh, it fell out. I see it. Let's go find it. And call it a good one. I see it really close here. Oh no, they popped out again. Just a great looking truck. Little crate and style on the back. Fezgar HM101. To show you the little battery set up here. So the Apex straps usually work really well. The rubberized here, the battery didn't move at all here this time. At the baseball field, the battery kept popping out because I didn't have this little heat sink in here like I do now, where the battery has something to sit on top of and it can squeeze it tight and it sits just level, so that's nice. Plenty of room, servos right here, it just goes back and forth, so we have all that room. I was thinking about cutting this out, but I put some padding over it. All right, let's put a real small uh, drain charge on it and see what our cells are at here. 3.8. Ah, so we drained it right to a storage charge. Not bad. Exactly. Always store your batteries in something fireproof. I have this little glass thing here. 